we can get into it, but congratulations. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Uh, my little friend here, Guzmo, loved the movie. He said it's his new favorite movie. Oh, yeah? Well, that's good to hear. You know, I say the movie is for people of all ages, but I guess I should say it's for dogs of all ages, too. I know, I know. So, so tell me about the film, because, I mean, it's pretty amazing the people that you've worked with on this film. No kidding. So Paw Patrol, the movie, takes place after Paw Patrol, the series. And in Paw Patrol, the series, they're in Adventure Bay, and they save the people in Adventure Bay, but in this movie, they go to Adventure City and all their rescues and adventures are on a huge scale. The stakes are super high because Mayor Humdinger has just been elected mayor and he's evil and he, he wants to basically destroy the city even though he thinks he's doing good. So Ryder and the Paw Patrol come to Adventure City and do their best to save the day. That's pretty cool. And and how did you get the role? Because I know there were so many thousands of people out there wanting to play Ryder because I mean, you know, you're working with Kim Kardashian, you're working with some pretty big celebrities. So how did, how did that happen? How did you become writer? Yeah, so my agent got me the audition, I think in early 2020, and it was my first ever voiceover audition. So I was super pumped and I knew I wanted to put my best foot forward. So about a week after I submitted the audition, they called me and said they wanted me in Toronto for a callback. And that was so cool. I rocked the audition, but then we didn't hear from them for like three weeks. Wow. And I was super nervous. I checked the voicemail and the email every day. I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss a message. And then finally they called and said I got the role. And I was, I was so happy. I had so much energy that day. I, I was running around my house. I was so pumped. That's awesome. And had you watched the series before or did you kind of have to go back and have a look at what had happened, you know, uh, you know up until this point? Right, so my brother was a huge Paw Patrol fan, one of the biggest, because it's his generation, you know, it's the show of their generation. So it was always on in the background of my house and I'd watch the occasional episodes with him. And then when I got the role, I went back and I watched a lot of, I watched a lot more episodes in depth and then to prepare for the role. And then I'd go in the mirror and pretend I was Ryder, really get into character because Obviously, like I said, it was my first ever voiceover role and it was a huge blockbuster movie. So I really wanted to do the best I could. And I think so many, uh, you know, people are excited to meet Ryder and get to know him more. So, so what is Ryder like? Tell me a little bit about his personality and, and who he is as a person. Yeah, so Ryder is the leader of the Paw Patrol team. He's a fearless leader. He's kind. He's caring. He's always willing to do whatever it takes to save the day and save the people. I love that. And uh, I understand there's a little bit of controversy, though, because he really, you know, does try and save the day without giving too much uh, away. But, but what kind of is the, the biggest problem, you know, of the film? And what is he trying to, to do? And, and, and what is happening? Right. So Mayor Humdinger has just been elected mayor, like I said. And he's doing all these crazy stunts that he thinks will make the people of the city love him. But he's really, in point of fact, destroying the city. So Ryder and the team come down and, you know, their main goal is to get Humdinger out of office and save the city. And there's also a lot of emotion, lots of laughs and lots of just fun in the movie. And what is it that you hope that people get out of it when they do watch the film? So I think this will be a lot of people's first movie experience since COVID and a lot of young kids first movie experience ever, like their first time going to a theater. So I think it'll be fun for all ages. It'll be a, just a great chance to escape from this crazy world we're living in, go and live in an amazing adventure movie with so much fun and love and heart. And I think you're so right. I think so many people, you know, this will be the first film that they watch, not only, you know, out of a pandemic, but also the first time ever. Uh, do you remember the first film that you ever watched? Because it is such a, a special moment. That's a great question. So the first movie I ever watched was Cars. Oh, wow. And I love that movie to this day. I actually watched it the other day. I, it just holds a special place in my heart. And uh, yeah, I'll never forget my first experience. Yeah, I think that's so special because, you know, it, it is, you know, su such a, you know, a pivotal moment of people's life when they get to go to the cinema and, 
and you know and i think it's exciting for people because you know we've all been locked up for so long and uh, it's finally giving people a chance to look forward to something for sure yeah it'll just add some much needed light into this whole global pandemic crazy world we're living in so so what was it like to work with because you know there are some pretty major celebrities attached to this what was it like to work with those celebrities did you work with them uh, closely or did you record separately how did that all work so i recorded separately in a booth in my hometown and i had no idea any of the celebrities were even in the movie oh, wow. it was alone in the booth with the director on zoom and i'd say say my lines a bunch of times but like i never got any cue lines like i never got to hear any of the other voices i never got to see any of the animation so i was allowed to say i was a part of the movie in october 2020 and that's when i found out that everybody else was in the movie that's so cool yeah have you met them yet or are you or is not yet how, how has that worked unfortunately i haven't yet but fingers crossed whether it's in person or on zoom anything would be amazing oh my gosh i'm so happy for you and what's next what else are you working on do you have things lined up or are you just kind of focusing on this and then we'll see what happens well this has been my main focus but i'm always doing auditions i'm always trying to work on my my craft i'm doing acting classes and i just really hope that after this something big can come well, I think this is already pretty big. I mean, I'm sure that after watching the film, I think people will already, you know, be asking the question, when's the next one? Yeah, I just hope this is a stepping stone in my career for me to continue doing what I love. So will the series continue? Obviously, now there's a movie, but, uh, you know, is will Ryder come back in, in, you know, in a TV series sense? Or is that still up in the air? Yeah, I do think Paw Patrol, the series, is still running. I haven't heard anything about the coming seasons but yeah i do think the show will continue oh good because i think people are scared because sometimes when the movie comes out it's like almost like you know saying goodbye to you know to the series it's like paying right. homage whether it be you know hannah montana or lizzie mcguire or you know all the a lot of times the movies are kind of the end of the series so i know people were worried about that yeah no i i've seen the movie and i don't think this will be the case for Paw Patrol, because there's still so much fun storylines to explore in the series. And without giving too much away, because uh, I know you've got to be super careful, uh, right. even though it's lame and you probably hate saying, I can't reveal too much, but what is your favorite part of the movie without you know giving too much away? What, what's your I, favorite part? Yeah, that's a great question. My favorite part is definitely the ending. It's super epic, a great climax. And it's just the peak of the whole adventure and just watching it. I've seen the movie twice and watching it both times. That was my favorite part by far. And then, uh, you know, and then a bit of a behind the scenes question. What was your favorite uh, thing about actually shooting the film, you know, being behind the scenes and, and recording? What was, what was your favorite? Well, the whole experience was just a learning curve for me. So I, I learned all, a bunch of industry secrets and voiceover secrets. And one of the things I really didn't expect from voiceover, when I was in the booth, I, I was having to like, like uh, pretend I was the character. I was moving around the booth. I was really becoming Ryder. And you know, you see the videos on YouTube of, of actors doing the voiceover. And so I, I had like this image in my head of how it would go, but then I got into the groove of what worked for me, which was being the character uh, I was moving and yeah, it worked for me and I got the best sound possible. Because right, it's like, it really does take a lot of talent because, you know, usually acting is so much, you know, reacting to, to right. things, but you've kind of got to pretend to the reactions. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't get to react because I, I didn't hear any of the cue lines. So I had to, you know, make up my own in my head, like what it would sound like. Um, and then w one of the very end scenes, I have to let out this big scream, and like, like I'm falling and I obviously couldn't fall. So in the booth, I was just like, I was just pretending I was like, ah! <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, and, you know, before we do go, what does your brother think about this all? Because you said he was a huge fan. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine what he feels like to have his brother 
as a main character in his favorite TV show that now is a film. Yeah, he is so pumped. He's so excited. He tells all of his friends. When I first got the role, he, he went up to, to upstairs and he grabbed all of his old Paw Patrol toys and he came down and he started playing with them. And I thought that was so cute. And then just the outpour of love from the whole community, not just my family, has been amazing. People I haven't spoke to in many years, like old classmates are texting me, congratulations, old castmates, old directors, really everybody just is wishing me congratulations. And that's amazing. Because how old are you now? And, and how old were you when you filmed it? So when I got the role, I was 14. And now I am 16. Oh, that's cool. So you're still young, but you're like, you know, how old's Ryder in, in, the, in the show, in the movie? Ryder's about the same age. I think in, in uh, canonically, he's 14. 14. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and how do you kind of stay level headed with it all? Because I mean, you know, it is a bit of an ego trip getting a role like this. Like some people would let that get to their head. So how have you kind of managed to, you know, to stay somewhat normal, you know, in the mix of such a huge role? Yeah. I mean, I still do everything I normally would, but I just have this huge movie on my plate and I'm, and, you know, I know that I have to go record and I get to do all this amazing stuff, but I still do what I normally would. And then whenever, you know, I, I get really excited or I think it might go to my head, I just think this is all amazing, but there's a lot of work still to be done. There is, you know, but it's, uh, and it's probably still cool though, because you are just going about your life normally. Uh, exactly. But now it's kind of coming out. You're like, oh my God, I am in a major movie. Yeah, like 10 two weeks to 10 days, whatever it is before the movie opens, like it's coming down to the wire and it's the most exciting it's ever been. I am, I'm feeling so good. And yeah, every day is a new day. Every day is more fun. Well, I'm excited for you and tell everyone where they can watch the film. So you can watch it in theaters or on Paramount Plus in August 20th. I think people, I think that's good as well, because, you know, unfortunately, some people are still, you know, can't get to the cinema. So I, I love that they can watch it on August 20th on Paramount. On Paramount Plus. Yes. I love that. Well, congratulations. I mean, so much. Gizmo is so excited for all of his little fur friends to watch it as well, because he got a sneak peek, but, you know, not, not everyone did. So he cannot right. wait to show all of his friends. Amazing. Do you have a dog quickly before I, we go? I just got a dog in March. His name is Lloyd. He's a little baby cockapoo. Oh Very my cool. God. Well, I was about to say, you can't do this movie and then not get a dog. I mean, being surrounded exactly. by all these, you know, dogness. Exactly. I know. Well, you have to I've, get a dog. I've been the leader of a whole pack of dogs. It wouldn't make sense for me to not have a dog in real life. I, I know, right? So, Congratulations, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for you, and I, I can't wait for the world to get to watch the film as well. Sweet, thank you very much, Dan. Thank you, and good luck with the rest of your interviews. I'm sure like the next kind of week's gonna be crazy for you, but uh, enjoy right. it, and yeah, really live it up. Thank you so much.